Welcome back. I'm talking with Common. I always love talking to you, buddy. Uh, the new Audible original is available tomorrow. It's called Bluebird Memories, A Journey Through Lyrics and Life. Uh, tell me about the concept, and how would you describe this to uh, listeners out there? Well, I, I would describe it as, um, as a combination of theater and live performance, um, because we did it at a theater. We performed it at a theater, but it's a it's a written piece. It's kind of a new expression for me because I wanted to combine what I do as an actor and I've been yearning to do live theater and, and what I've done as a musician and a, and a live performer. So I came up with this concept where I wanted to write a letter to my father who, who passed in 2014. And the letter would be a journey through my life and through my career and through, through the music, but also just who I am as a human being. And it would show it would show the laughter, the good times, uh, the, the times I missed them, the times the times I might have been angry, but also just the times we celebrated and had a great time. And I really think it's the journey of a, of a human being, a man um, and going through life. And it's, it's told through these through these monologues and through the music. Yeah, I loved in the Audible uh, original, you talk about your dad buying your first rap album. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, so my dad had come to town and he, he took me to a record store um, that we had in my neighborhood called Metro Music, and I, that's where I would get a, some of my music, you know, but, and he said, what do you want me to um, get you? And I said, yeah, can you get me this, this rap song right here? It's called The Message by, by Melly Mel, Grandmaster Flash, and the Furious Five. And, and he was like, what? You know, like, because he Rap wasn't his thing. He wasn't really too much up on rap. He was a yeah, he was no. a doo but a jazz dude. So he was like, <laughs> what? And then, you know, hey, you he bought it. it. He put he, he got it for me. I put it on. Story goes, man. I started writing like maybe two weeks later. I wrote my first rap. And, uh, That's awesome. I, I'm trying to think of my, uh, my, the records I would make my dad get me. Uh, we were in like 45s what? at the time. And, uh, what did you like? What did, what, what did you get? What was one of? <laughs> I want a musical youth, past oh, yeah. Dutchy, uh, ooh, with my jam. Oh, I used to love that. And he came home. He's like, Dad's got two forty fives, and me and my sister were like, What? Oh my gosh! And he, it was, uh, it was Mandy by Barry Manilow, and yeah. uh, some medley of the Beach Boys, and we were like, <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> like. Okay, I mean, no, again, I, now I'm older and I'm like, oh, they were great jams. But I was like, where's the, anything on the top 40 that we were like pointing at? Right. We didn't get that at all. Right. Eventually I ended up getting the musical youth one, but I remember it was Barry Manilow and, uh, and Beach Boys. And then I just started going, I started flipping through his 45s and just yeah. playing like doo-wop, like you were saying, or when you get to hear, you know, the drums on the Rolling Stones or something like that. I remember him yeah. playing a uh, um, uh, honky-tonk woman, Rolling Stones, and he was like, just watch the woofer when you, when you put this on. And I was like, and you see the thing yeah. moving. I was like, whoa, the speaker's moving. I didn't even know it was that. But I love any of that stuff. I love getting introduced to those things. But, you know, when you're a kid, you want to hear your music. Like when I would roll around, I roll around with my daughter. I would take her ice skating with her friends. And, and I remember playing like Lauryn Hill. She claims I was playing Michael Jackson. But I said, I was playing Lauryn Hill. And she said, she was like, Dad, can you put on music that was made after 98? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it, it happens, it happens in generations and generations. It's so fun, right? Yeah, I was like, yo, chill out. Like, this is classic. <laughs> now she loves Lauren Hill. Yeah. Now she loves Lauren Hill. Yeah, of course. And I know every doo-wop song in the world. And uh, yeah, it's like, uh, it's, it all, it all, it's it all comes like, It feeds, yeah, exactly. Uh, yes. It's great catching up with you, Common. I love talking to you. Congrats on the uh, Audible original. It's out tomorrow. Bluebird yeah. Memories, a journey through lyrics and life. Uh, please come back, and I, I want to see you in person, bud. Yes, I will see you in person, man. God bless. Be well, Jimmy, all Me right? You too. Bye, bud.